Hello and welcome to Wobble Tech episode 2. In this episode we're just going to uh, go over some things that I might have not made clear in the last episode regarding global tempo versus launch quantized tempo. And also to clear up why we were doing what we were doing in the last uh, video, it might not be clear because there are other ways to slice up a beat. You don't have to go through and pick individual slices. So what this um, operation is doing is letting us uh, kind of slice it up in a way that we can keep it, uh, we can play it to the to grid in real time without having to use any of the features like auto quantize or anything. And, and that's really important for live performance and for jamming and that sort of thing. So in this one I prepared a new sample. We're going to, it's Girl From Me Panema. And ten and young and lovely The girl from Ipanema goes walking And when she passes, each when she passes goes Um, the end of the sample isn't isn't well, um, it isn't isn't well clipped. You heard it loop weird, but doesn't matter because we made some new slices. <laughs> Last video I was flipping around this tab here. I would just leave that at one bar, and I would uh, pick all your launch quantizes from down here for this kind of operation. So remember, we highlighted these things and we will go um, now what I'm going to show you is also going through and making them a little uh, one it could be 1/16th, one sixteenth one one eighth so <laughs> And you can even map one to the stop key and set that to really th um, short quantize to if you want to get out of the sample quickly. I can do that with key. Oh, I can't even set the um. Well, it sh it'll, that'll follow the global. And then for this beat, we'll we we'll, um I chop some of those up and let's go. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, um, so let's do the quick jam. So obviously, as you can hear, something to be noticing is that um, sometimes sometimes you can make it so that you've killed your beat. So <laughs> be careful about that, and you can always come up with ways so that it doesn't kill. And one last thing I want to show you, you can see this this play button's blinking. I was um, playing around with follow actions, and I can do that really quickly, and we can do them more in, in another video. But um, So I have that loop. It's indefinite. Uh, it's indefinite looping at the moment. I want to maybe maybe stop it after a very short amount of time. So follow actions. I can't give you the. There's a whole world of them. But what I can do is I can say stop it after. Um, let's see. That'll be. So 
So that's kind of better for a rhythmic. Um, if I, I set it to loop, but it's not going to go indefinitely. So that should be cool. Okay, so I'm not going to harp on this issue, and I hope that was a bit more clarification. So as you, as we went over, you can set quantizes and follow actions. Here, you can um, really go into fine detail with these things. In another video, I'm going to show you how to um, uh, unlink and link uh, volume and pan for these clips too so we we'll keep building as we go i just don't like to make videos too long because they get kind of boring looking at a screen all right hope you enjoyed <laughs>